Life Hacks 111. 111 one. Life Hacks episodes. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Just to recap, you've yep. bought a trampoline. Yes. Like a, it's, if you imagine a big trampoline. It's a little one. Smaller one. Yes. And you're going to, that's going to be your thing. I am doing that. Bouncing. I've been, yeah. Okay. Is it- what is funny? Oh, oh the condoms. <laughs> no, no, no. What? Uh, no. <laughs> See, in the bag, Please. you have a MacBook condoms oh. and croissant. And stethoscope. Oh. Yusuf brilliant. bought me and Johnny for Christmas a one-hour beautiful brass and glass. Mm. Hourglass. Good uh, name for a brand. Brass and glass, and glass. Oh, yeah. yeah, it would be. Would it be for be prostitutes trend- to sh- on tables in front of you. <laughs> Brass and glass. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Johnny and Yusuf in oh. the building. <laughs> welcome back, gentlemen. How are you doing? Hello. Very good. good. Very good. Life hacks 111. Is that what it is? 111. One, life hacks episodes. <laughs> <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> That's a lie. We started on 101. Um, and Johnny, you've actually got some for once. I do. I've done some preparation. But don't you dare hop <laughs> on me. I'm not going to do that. Um, what I am going to do, though, if you know what Bear Bells are, they are a protein shake, pre-made protein shake. Absolutely fantastic. Tastes lovely. Partnered with the company from Noco, and you can win a crate of them. All that you need to do is share this episode. Tag me in the share at ChrisWellX, wherever you follow me. Uh, share this episode up and I'll choose someone and send a case of bear balls out to you. Um, and my first life hack is... Can I ask a question first? Yeah. Are they not protein bars? They also make milkshakes. Do they? Yeah. I've got some of that. Do you want one to take away? Yeah. Yeah. So my first life hack is replace milk on cereal with bear bells white chocolate. Okay. I'm on board with that. 20, you have a lot of cereal, don't you? I have a lot of cereal. 20, oh. grams, 20 grams of protein instantly <clears throat> added onto whatever your cereal is for the day. I'm going to have to make it my I'll life I'll just hack. give you one. I'll just give you one. You can't oh. take my life hack. No, no, just the type of cereal. <laughs> well, oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Okay, so granola works very well with granola. Like white chocolate, Bear Bell's milkshake, mm. uh, protein shake, granola. Unbelievable. Macros are fantastic. So it's higher calorie. Slightly higher cost, I imagine. Much higher cost. Well, yeah. But must be tasty. Oh, it's so good. What sort of granola do you have? Don't ask him this question because I know he'll get excited. What sort of granola would you go <laughs> Mine's for? Asda own brand. Yes. <laughs> Asda extra special. No. Okay. So you're, you're in for a treat. Are we talking Chris? like granola with, with raisins? Raisins and, and nuts. and Okay. Oh. It'll kill you. So I have... Kill you the, so the, fast. The Quaker granola. The Quaker raisin granola mm-hmm. is, frankly, lethal. Like... You don't realise it, but if you could easily do the box without even realising it. This is the thing, I know the one that you mean, yeah. It's so calorie dense. Like it's, it's unbelievable. It's like fried cereal, isn't it? Like it's, <laughs> it's, deep fried it's like someone's cereal. made cereal and then just put a butter in it and stir it around <laughs> and put it on the shelf. And you're like, oh, that's really, yeah, really nice. really tasty. And you're like, ah. Uh. Oh, okay. And then Chris is like, mm. I'm, just, I'm, a, I'm a bit lean at the moment. Dip Why don't I like, add some calories <laughs> and um, a saurine? Well, that's it. If you, at the end of the day and you're like, really want nice supper before mm. I go to bed but oh 20 grams of protein down for the day yeah shit there you go that I do think sweet. cereal's a brilliant evening food oh, it's so brilliant good. evening food it's, it's the bookend of the day isn't it do you know what I mean it's it the is. beginning in the end oh, what should I have this morning cereal what should I have before bed cereal do you eat cereal for breakfast uh, I'm fasting until about 1pm usually so if I were to have cereal for breakfast then just take the edge off for me just the just edge take, off what just, like just my Sharpness. My focus, yeah. yeah it's bedtime. Blunting the pencil. But if it's like before bed. Like, mm-hmm. Cool. <laughs> you actually have a list of life hacks. Johnny, go. Tell us. Tell us the list. So the first one, you won't agree with, Chris. Okay. Because I know you think this sort of thing's a bit silly, but a soda stream. Uh-huh. You got this for Christmas, right? I did. It was a present. It is. So fizzy water, sparkling water is when you add it up, quite expensive, and also a faff. So if you were to go and buy a lot of sparkling water, go on. How is buying sparkling water more of a faff than having to make the fucking stuff yourself? <laughs> because it's it's easy to make it. So you, under the tap, button, 
done. What Johnny likes about Liter it is that water. he can shout the flavour of the, of the water in, <laughs> in the room and then it, it's the same as that other stuff that Sam has. So he's talking about LaCroix, yeah. So... Lemon. And then you're like, oh... It's it, it, that's the best description. Did I tell you that? Yeah. yeah. So I read that description about LaCroix and it's perfect. It's the, exactly what it what is. What is it? While you're drinking it, it's as if someone... Just someone like, shouts like, lime, next door. <laughs> and that's that's the amount of flavouring there is in there. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's great for appetite suppression. So if you're fasting and if you're not like these two and you have to count your calories in order to lose weight or manage your body weight, um, then having sparkling water instead of normal water, having carbonate drinks, great for appetite suppression. It's also really nice. So you can, why not, why not diet coke? Or like green tea. Caffeine and tastes awful. (laughs) Why not, uh, diet Sprite, Sprite Zero? No reason. Taste and preference. I'm just trying to, you know. Yeah. What I mean. So it. So once you got a soda stream, you need to have the gas canister, but they you can take them to Lakeland and get them swapped for another one. Where's Lakeland? Like, in, that's like saying where's W H Smith. <laughs> I've never seen the word Lakeland written once before. <laughs> Seriously, never seen it written before. That's because you don't operate in like everything's hard cash and nightclubs <laughs> and everything. Other than that. I bet they only it's accept chip and pin, do they? <laughs> It'd be like the bits in the GTA map that are just like blank grey shops. <laughs> I don't think you can actually go inside. There's, just, there's the shop. There's polygon. Buy. Polygon. Yeah. Uh, there's shapes. the one where you can buy the guns, and the one where you can change the colour of your car. And then everything in between else, that is Lakeland. Just Lakeland, unless it's Vice City. Oh, there's the garages. But yeah, so so stream. Cool, man. I like it. And they do little. You can actually ironically turn it into Coke with a Lakeland. Yeah. Flavoring. Have you got the different flavouring? I've got things. two. So what's the best flavouring? Lemon. Lemon. Clem, <laughs> diet um, lemon. Don't get, for God's sake, don't get the ginger beer. Don't get sucked into the organic stuff. Because you go, and there are some that are in like brown, like medicine. <clears> the <throat> bottle. Oh, they look really nice. They're a bit more expensive. And then you realise that the, the amount that you have to dilute it by, you'd be better off just drinking like red Coke. Like the sugar's insane. Wow. So you go from having like a, a nice zero calorie beverage, chilled in the morning, lovely, to... <laughs> I've made my own sugar drink here. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've gone to effort and expense to make my own version sugary, of sugary Coke drink. that isn't as nice as Coke. Um, have you, are you filtering the water before? So is it filtered water? Yes. Yeah, that's, yeah. okay, now that's nice. But that's just because you have scared me to death about estrogen. And I feel like filtering, it's like, it's not probably going to do anything really, but I at least feel like I'm doing something about it. But you need to uh, avoid whatever it is, f- ferritous irons or whatever it was. <laughs> it's receipts. I can't wash my hair. I can't like <laughs> touch certain people. Certain people, yeah. No, no, um, no candles are allowed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway. T- to be honest, Johnny has actually taken the highest yield estrogen things to avoid, which is microwaving Tupperware. And stop doing that, which I'm so pleased with, because because like when you're microwaving a a plastic container of food and then it's all wibbly and you're just like. So do you, you still get meal prep or no? No, so I'm don't. cooking cooking for myself now. Maybe mm. three months. Wow, interesting. Very good. <laughs> um, before I forget, just while we were on the granola thing, if you follow us on Instagram, you'll you'll know that I have got a clinical addiction problem to. Asda's best hazelnut dark chocolate cherry granola. Absolutely. <laughs> On another level. Like, and the, the problem is, <clears throat> I get Asda delivery and I get anxious when there's less than three bags in the house. So I've always got maybe 10 bags of it at one time. Are they quite cover. small bags? 500 gram. Oh, that's it's, it's like it's the like finest seven, range, seven. isn't it? So like, the, yeah. they look at it and think, well, they're not a normal single person. bowl, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, a normal person would only have a sprinkling maybe. Yeah. I think... But you just go in a like, bag a day. They're like 750 or... A, or a, yeah, about 750 it's grams It's a thing. staple of your diet, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, man, man, I'm telling you, add a Bear Bell's white chocolate on top of that and it will be... <laughs> be too much to handle. It'll be enough that it should probably be on admireme.vip. Like just bowl a video of a bowl of it. Slowly <laughs> rotating. Oh, I would subscribe to that. <laughs> I yeah. would as well. Cereal the, porn. The fact that you have a granola problem but still don't gain weight is insane to me. So actually, that's my next life hack. I'm, I may as well bundle it in, but like, All since right. we're talking of like how... And this is just because some of us, our weight gravitates like up or down depending yeah. on yeah. our disposition. Mm. And I've noticed this a lot with a lot of the new doctors starting. 
that you see people's weight distinctly go like up or down depending mm, on right their, like the, how busy they are how, well like what their coping strategy is i suppose so like right um, do you overwork or overeat yeah exactly so I'm, you, I'm, you my, over granola i over granola but my yeah my weight tanks so i've dropped like four or five kilos over a few weeks um just with busy periods so granola and just putting grated cheese on everything is I mean, so a great your life idea. hack your life hack is how to not lose weight in a stressy time so a lot of a lot of the life hacks I've got today are you've got to pick the direction because depending on like which way this, this you is are. like one of those choose your own destiny adventure uh, books. Yeah. Like do you want to fight the dragon or do you want to run? <laughs> fight the dragon. Realize fight that the actually dragon. there's only ever one right answer. Otherwise, yeah. it brings about the beginning. Uh, yeah. But regardless of your goal, the hazelnut cherry dark chocolate granola, mind blowing, but it, anxiety inducing when you get less than three bags. And what's the other thing? The, grated cheese. <clears throat> grated cheese on everything. But with the granola, if you get Asda delivery and you allow substitutions, they'll always try and give you some bullshit granola that's just <laughs> like, there's just nothing. Like, they, have, they also have like an extra special salted caramel crunch. Mm-hmm. Sea that salt. sounds great. Terri- that sounds lovely. Oh, it's just nothing in comparison. And, then, and <laughs> sometimes you're, the, the guy will have left and you're unpacking all your stuff and you're like, oh, I've been done. Like he slipped in a, a, a sea <laughs> And he's salt. taken the cherry oh. granola for himself. Yeah. So annoying. Okay. Um, <laughs> next up. So if you are going on holiday, I advise that you pack a small drawstring bag. So if you remember about the size of an A3 piece of paper, two A4 bits of paper side by side, it's like mm. the sort of thing you'd have taken to the swimming baths as a kid. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? I know exactly what like you Like a mean. drawstring backpack. Yeah. Um, and Reebok make one, which has got a single zip pocket Ooh. across the front of it. And that's it. It's just a drawstring bag. And... It is the single best thing that I've ever taken to, for going away with. So you've got your big backpack that's probably maybe got laptop, electronics, sunglasses, other stuff like towel and things. Or maybe not even towel, that stuff in. Then you've got suitcase. That's other, And this is even if you're just going for a weekend. Mm. But you need, I'm, I'm quickly going to the beach. I want to throw my towel, s- swim shorts, sunglasses and Kindle into something. And it's just that. And you can fold it up inside of another bag. <laughs> Man. Fully behind that. Yep. It is yeah. so good. And I <clears throat> forgot it when I went to, on one of the trips this year, I forgot the bag. And the, the holiday was essentially pointless. It's really inconvenient. <laughs> yeah. Every, I was at, the, the difficulty level has just been increased by at least 50% and everything that I'm doing. To like- yeah. <laughs> or take the big bag. Take my big uh, bag. Put back. passport in there. No. So I have a travel safe which wow. is a um, small, oval, lockable, uh, foam interiored thing yeah. that then has a chain, like a kind of like a, a plastic covered chain that comes off and you can hook that round something. That was when I was traveling and I didn't know if there was going to be safes in some of the hotels. And that's a great idea, that. Ten quid. That should be the life hack. Oh, it's both of them. Mm. It's both of them now. See, I, my, I get anxiety <coughs> if I have my laptop with me, leaving it somewhere, leaving yeah. it in a hotel room. Because you can't, you can't put your laptop in there, really, can you? In the safe? In the bag. No, uh, not yeah. at all. So you either can, you'll all. take your little backpack with you, I imagine. I, I just take it everywhere. No, yeah. but, I, but I leave the laptop in the hotel room. Do you? Uh, yeah, but it's... Yeah. Oh. Okay. The, the safe are rubbish, apparently, yeah. the hotel ones. Uh, uh, well, I mean, then you're never going to be able to get a big 15 uh, or 13-inch uh, laptop into one of those safes anyway. They're like the size of... Mm, That's true. That but the other benefit of that little backpack is if it's hot, which it probably is if you're on holiday... Mm. Having a sweaty back where your backpack's just like pressed against your back—it's uh, super a light, horrible mm. feeling. Man, I, honestly, it is so fantastic to have that, and you've just got all the little things you can have. Your change, you know, you just throw your change in there when you've gone been going shopping places. You just chink around. Amazing, yeah. Johnny, I'm just getting the exact name because I think I've written the exact name down wrong. Oh, well, it's a specific brand, is it's it? A, that we're going yeah. for with this? It's uh, so I had written it down wrong. That was a Ooh, low shave. Uh, wow. So I'd written natural grass, but it's actually amazing grass. <laughs> amazing grass. Amazing grass greens powder. So the reason right. why... Oh, I've tried that. The one you gave me. Yeah, the chocolate one. Yeah. Yeah. So they make one that has cocoa in it. And so I would heard this concept. And I, 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 I think I... So this is a separate life hack, which is if you're buying flavoured things, get chocolate flavour. Because chocolate really? flavour is very easy to naturally flavour with cocoa. So when you oh, get a chocolate okay. flavour something, it typically tastes pretty authentic. 
you get a strawberry, banana, vanilla, whatever. I've and learned that the taste of it off. Well, I mean, you, I mean, you're you zero. For... You're so off piste with flavouring. It's <laughs> well, I've got ten kilos still to. Well, the the other half of the ten kilos to birthday get through. cake, pina colada, pina colada. But birthday cake never again. That was <laughs> terrible. What do you mean never again? It's... You got five kilos of pina colada. Yeah, I'm... ten kilos of pina colada. <laughs> yeah, I'm just halfway through. But the the birthday cake, it's a bit salty. It's like eating salty dough with hundred, actual hundreds and thousands in the way. Who wants that in their protein shake? Someone who like, orders birthday cake, way. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, so they do a they do a cocoa like a chocolate flavor greens powder that has, is honestly like compared to your typical greens powder. This is so honestly the, palatable. The it is, level yeah. up yeah. is purely because of taste. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I can get behind that. I mean, it's just easy, naughty. Oh my goodness, it's, Very e- naughty. it's really easy compared to. Like, so I've tried ones from my protein and mm-hmm. protein works that are, uh, they've flavored them. It's like mm. super berry or blueberry or whatever. It's a bit artificial. tropical. This whatever. you could add it to like chocolate whey and you wouldn't even know us. Oh, nice. Cool. Which you should also get chocolate whey. It's just that you, it's the way to live your life in an easy way. I think fuss. definitely when you're starting with a new supplement, chocolate's a pretty safe one to go for. Mm. Um, but most companies now, pretty much everyone does sample packs. Yeah. So just get the 25 gram single serving sample of one of everything. And then you can go, I like this. I don't like this. I you like should this. write that like on, you should make a poster that just says buy the sample pack. And have that <laughs> Stick it to the front of use of sport. Yeah, so I've never I mean. got a sample pack, but I like, I feel like my days of experimenting with whey, like that was when I was young and reckless. Do you still use, you don't use whey anymore, do you? <laughs> yeah. Like I have the, I have the approach. But I'm, I'm, I've got a problem now, which is because I get the bulk, I, I usually get the largest increment of whey that I can of a single flavour, but the new flavours coming out are, f- are coming out at a faster rate than how fast I consume whey. How many protein shakes struggling. do you think you've had over the past five years that you've enjoyed? Like really genuinely thought, that's nice. Is it is it less than 100? <laughs> yeah, definitely less than 100. But you have one every day. Mm-hmm. So right, it'll be one more at... after it'd be one more after that bear bells though. Well, nice. I, well, I'm currently on the hunt for a new brand of protein. I want something that actually tastes nice. So if you guys have any suggestions, like I'm happy to pay. I feel like you're the man with the with the answer. Though. Yeah, I don't like, know why I think so. That. Protein works. Some of their stuff's real good. They got some great flavors. I don't want to go for some generic brand. I want like some genetic premium, genetic supplement, something like that. Yeah. Nutrition or something like yeah. that. I don't get it. Like it's just protein. Yeah, I agree. It is. Ju- it's such a transaction. Um, Definitely, and I've said this to Protein Works, despite the fact they support the podcast, the best protein I've found at the moment is bulk powders, beef isolate. Does it wow. taste chocolate, beefy at all? Chocolate, just pure chocolate, the best chocolate ever. But there's no, there's not a single smidge of, da- of dairy in it. And it's mm. isolate, so it's super thin. My protein do a beef, a normal beef um, powder, it's like you have to punch it down. Yeah, I can imagine that. So like needy and thick. And that, you could right. add maltodextrin in. Um, it's great. I'll just give you, you I'm can just take some. Is it, you is just it, take some from it then. Try well, is it nicer than a normal way? Or is it nice because you, you're trying to not have whey? Taste wise? <laughs> yeah. It depends. So f- now, I've really developed a taste for it. Right. I enjoy the taste of that particular right. <clears throat> shake now. And the fact that I don't get even the slightest amount of stomach discomfort which I was getting really bad from whey. Do you get bloaty? Yeah, bloaty, just uncomfortable. Then I switched to uh, varying degrees of diet whey, isolate, da-da-da-da. Still uh, bad. Still bad. Then switched to my proteins, beef. Still wasn't too good because it was so thick. Just Mm. gelatinous glob of like Mm. this cylinder of just material that's going down. Just cleans down you. (laughs) You know mm. when you have to unblock a, a drain mm. and you put Mr. Muscle drain and blocker down you see that bit of hair that's been lodged <laughs> in there just move that's what it was like oh. uh, and then this it's brilliant man so if you're buying flavoured things get chocolate as a safe and that, that greens powder like if you if you if you're one of the so I'm one of these people who always thinks like there's nothing there's no reason why I shouldn't just have a greens powder mm. like there's not mm. you know I, I haven't not had a greens powder in as long as I can remember now right well so you, do you just have it Plain on its own. Tropical uh, protein works. Right. It's fine. And you think it's all right? Half a glass of water. Totally fine. Do you have a greens powder? No. I've, I've got one, but it's expired now, so I threw it away. <laughs> Do you I think there's no benefit? my protein veg powder that was like garlic Super veg. and mushroom. Super veg oh, excess. And I'd mix it yeah, with... I'd, I'd unflavoured. Have, I'd, I'd mix it with leucine and psyllium husk and then just <laughs> try and drink it down. <laughs> and because it's so 
pungent. You try and like make it concentrate, and you'd be like, <coughs> "What's well, no, made it even it. worse?" And so then you try and have it with like a pint of water, and then you're like, "Actually, it's not diluted the flavor at all. It still tastes just as concentrated." But now I've just got more to have to drink. <laughs> Awful. Wow. Right. So I've I've got quite a lot to get through today. Let's do it, man. Let's I get mean, moving. We, we can do, always save some for next time. If you just do one now, okay? Well, because we've got quite a few suggested from. Uh, I want to stick to yours. Too. I'm not having. I'm People not having want to hear That's why everyone here is watching because of you. But well, the, <laughs> you I'm sorry, guys. But this this is Paul Turner's Paul, uh, not small. He has said whenever something comes out, like a an event comes out and tickets are six months in advance, whether or not you can go buy two, because then you've bought one and then you can just invite someone later. You don't have to pick who it is. You don't have to arrange it. Just closer to the time, you can be like, oh, Darren Brown's coming to the town. I've got two tickets. Do you fancy going? And it's like... That's a great tip, that. It's a good one. I've, yeah, I've so. low-key employed it myself previously and benefited from it. Brian Cox took my mum. Brilliant. Like, you, you can always find someone to go with you to a cool event. As long as it's good things. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah <laughs> if it's something really thing. weird. Yeah. That you're really going to have to try and convince someone to mm. come with you. Guys, yeah. does anybody fancy going to the new Dungeons and Dragons mm. launch? So, 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 it, so if that's the case, then, like, that's a really fundamental, like, you've got to reevaluate your friends, like, if there's nothing that you can... Or well, there's a Warhammer painting mm. workshop happening in the back end of the town wall this week. So we have the monocle. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'd go to both of those, but just out of intrigue. I'll probably wouldn't stay very long. Very voyeuristic for you, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, right, this one. Oh my god. So, send to Kindle extension for Chrome on MacBook. Wow. This... You, you're getting so into Kindle these oh, days. Fuck, man. So, oh, I've started using my Kindle. Paperwhite. Mm-hmm. Paperwhite, yeah. So, I love my Kindle. I don't like reading articles on my phone because phone, the way that I use my phone is very skittish, flicking around between apps. I'm in the rhythm of WhatsApp and Instagram and stuff. Just, it's it's how I operate on that. I'm not good for deep reading. Laptop as well. It's just, you got to be at my desk, standing or sitting or doing whatever. Kind of not, not for me. So Kindle now is a article reader as well. Previously, my solution to this was use Evernote Web Clipper, clip to Evernote, export as a HTML file, repurpose and export as a PDF, then use the center Kindle. Oh, my, yeah. oh it was my God. so arduous, man. But I just wanted it because you need to have it so it looks nice on Kindle. So it needs to be in PDF. It needs to have converted. It needs to have stripped the formatting. It needs to have kept, you know, all of the different mm. stuff. It was just ugly. Real bad process. And then one day I just Googled, is there a center Kindle? There is a center Kindle extension for Chrome that you can search now. It'll be in the show notes below. And you just press one button previews the whole thing makes it the perfect size allows you to zoom in and out with the font size that your preferences are on your kindle paperwhite you can edit before it sends in browser you can edit the title and the author of the article that you're talking about in case sometimes it doesn't pull through the right quite the right metadata and it just sends it perfectly formatted to your kindle instantly every kindle device that you've got has that article as a does it save it like in your library yeah as a in the cloud, every so it'll be on Kindle on your phone, Kindle on you, whatever. Man, it and so I'm as opposed to sending stuff to Pocket now. Pocket for me is low grade shit. Pocket is like sub five minute reads, mm. sub ten minute reads. But if I've got meditations on Moloch, hour and a half read uh, this big monster of a blog post I've wanted to do, and I can just read it like a book. And you can highlight passages that will save back out. In, oh man, it's phenomenal. I haven't had I haven't had something that's changed the workflow and <laughs> improved my life that much in ages. Sent a Kindle for Chrome. So I, the problem I always have with like because you have Toby and Pocket, like all these things to like delay the time you're going to read something. Mm-hmm. What I've never really had is a time when I would definitely read it. Mm-hmm. But something that I do is read, or only very recently, just read a bit of my Kindle in the morning because mm-hmm. it means I don't have to use my phone or my laptop or anything. So if I can take something from that and read it then. So I think quite, <clears throat> quite a good solution to that is either like attach it to a thing that you do that you, I, I guess like you haven't got a long commute or anything, so it doesn't apply for that. Mm. But I find morning when I'm getting up, brushing teeth, making a tea or whatever, is it the, the first sort of 10, 15 minutes, great time for just opening either pocket, Evernote, something like that, swiping down with two fingers from the top of the iPhone, and then it just reads the article. So it's like an audiobook or just listening to an actual audiobook. 
in that time. So I wonder whether. So you're saying like while you're like while you're waking up, (laughs) you might listen to something. Or if there's any like dead time, I guess if you're waiting for food in the microwave or something like that. Mm. That's something we might not have touched on before. We're going back to an old one there, but Pocket, which is a read later saving app on mobile has a function where for maybe about 60% of articles, you can just press the headphones at the bottom of it and it'll just read an article that you've saved. They changed the voice, which is a shame. I haven't done it in it. I haven't used it. Uh, it, it used to be a great voice. And now it's this weird American, like uh, digital sounding. Uh, it was one. really accurate previously. Anyway, Johnny, yeah. you're up. What you got? Uh, what you got for I mean, which one to pick? Let's see, you got big Ben and Jerry's. Mufouria. Is this one of those low calorie? It is, but so lo- low calorie ice creams are like all the ten a penny at the moment. This, and this ten a penny won't, won't matter to you guys because you'll just eat the normal ice cream <laughs> and still not gain weight. But for people who are like in the in the Halo Top crew, like Halo Top compact. Uh, so Halo Top is between. 280, let's say 400 calories a tub. Mm-hmm. Move forward is slightly higher, so it's around 600, 700 calories a tub, but it's way, way more than a proportional increase in taste for the increase in calories. Okay. Like, I mean, it's Ben and Jerry's. Is it Move Forward? How do you spell Move Forward? What's the flavor? You put it, so that, I think they only do like three or four. It's like a caramel one, chocolate one. Hang on, so it's Move Forward the. It's a range yeah. that they do. Okay. So, like, they're all purple tubs. Yeah. So they have, like, some Ben and Jerry's flavors are just like a lower calorie version. They used to do a frozen yogurt like back in the day, like back in like 2010. Mm-hmm. They stopped doing that and they brought this out now. So it's really good. How much of a tub do you need to eat to be satisfied? Because the problem I have with Halo Top mm. is all well and good. Tell me that it's only 350 calories per tub, mate. Yeah. But for me to be satisfied because it's mostly air, <laughs> I have to eat the whole thing. Eat the whole thing. So I probably would still eat the whole thing. That's a big chunk of your calories for the day. Not really. I think Chris's hundred. motto in life 600. is eat the whole thing. Yeah. Like that I, could be a That's why I like Coming it. Coming from like, Mr. Granola Mr. Over Granola. If I was going <laughs> to, if, if I was going to not eat the whole thing, I'd just get normal ice cream and have a bit of it. But I just, <laughs> I just don't think Having that's, little, that's, that's how living What's life. in a normal tub of Ben Jerry's? That 1200 plus. Yeah. Yeah. So you're talking 50% off. Yeah. Cows. And it, and I don't think, so I, I'm not like an ice cream connoisseur, but I don't think on a blind taste test, yeah, it, it may be, maybe normal Ben and Jerry's is like way creamier. But, like but it's it, close enough is, to yeah, be is nice that is that really Diet Coke versus after. normal Coke? Yeah. Actually, Co- I Coke prefer. Zero. Yeah. Co- so the, the later kind of Cokes that they brought out. That they Pepsi did. Max. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the other thing, which is a separate life hack is, I, which is related to this, is I, I'm far happier buying a serving of something that I know I can eat the whole thing of mm. than feeling like I have to ration myself. So if I were to buy, if I were to go, if I were to want some biscuits, and I have a pack of a, a serving of three biscuits in a packet, <clears> versus <throat> taking the three biscuits out of a packet and then putting the packet away, I get way more enjoyment out of the, out of eating the whole pack of three than half or a portion of the pack. Of There's 12. a huge amount of nutritional psychology in that, isn't there? Like, and and they look at people who have the, the people who tend to be the like natural weight gainers are the ones that will eat everything that's on their plate. Maybe from the way that we're acculturated or socialised when we're young to like, you've got to finish your whole plate, otherwise you're not getting any pudding. <laughs> and like there's there's that and there's also that like we override our own satiety response because we're like, well, there's my plate, got to finish it. Yeah, which is total like, arbitrary amount of food if you haven't served it, right? If mum's put this on your plate, the fact that that's the size of your plate. That's just mum's estimate. Of, yeah. And actually now canteens no longer are allowed to discriminate when, they, you know, when they look at like, Big dude, and they're like, oh, I'll give you an extra bit of chips, and they're not. They're, now they have to just give people standard portion control. Like, yeah, so why? Well, just because someone, like, someone got upset. Someone, someone got upset. Like it was all fine. <laughs> someone, with, start getting, someone with green hair. Yeah, did you see? Got annoyed. Did about you see it? this article that's been shared around by Douglas Murray and, and some people recently, <laughs> saying, "I'm a heterosexual woman who's politically opposed to heterosexuality. Please help." So it's a, a politically wom- opposed to it. So it's a woman. How who, can you be? So it's a woman who is a, a heterosexual woman who is sexually attracted to men, but hates the patriarchy, doesn't like the fact that heterosexual men objectify women. Um, so she is now trying to find a bi-curious man on Grinder who has woke politics, but will also fuck her. 
And this this all came out recently. Well, it's like, it's like that's fine. You can do what you like. You the know, world's like, just getting just, turned upside down. Actually, it, it sounds like she just needs like something better to do. Good Roger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> just like a hobby or like a uh, you know an interest that isn't just finding something to pick at. <laughs> I've I've tried to summarize <laughs> your life hack as. Allow the manufacturer to do your portion control for you. <laughs> so, yes, I'm really buying that. Like, mm-hmm. if all of my food came in a packet and there I was, could eat the whole thing, just I'd be so happy about that. So you like discrete value. Well, that's the yes. account in you, isn't it? I, it's the fat kid in me. I like, <laughs> I like to eat the whole packet. And so if the I've whole packet you... is two and a half thousand calories with enough protein, <laughs> I am that's it. Like, so I, content. I, I don't think I've ever seen you like eat a meal and then say... Mm. There we go. Yeah. I, I, think, I think I've had enough there. Or like, I just, I'll have oh, a little bit more off someone else's plate, and now I'm fine. I used to have it's so many arguments like, with people when I was dieting, where like we'd go out for a meal, and I'd, I'd be served a portion. I'd be like, "Fuck, I'm gonna go with my calories," and they go, "Why don't you just eat half of it?" And you're like, "No, I can't do." It. It'd yeah, be stupid. What do you mean? I didn't eat half of it? Like, I'd far rather eat all of it and know where I am <laughs> than have to eat half of it and guess. Like, if I eat ha- all of it, I'll be able to find the calories online, and then I'll know I've had that many <laughs> calories. If I eat half of it, it's like, well. Did I have three hundred grams? Well, that's, that that you know that you're going to put that amount in. You can just put zero point five servings. I know, but it's less fun, isn't it? It is less fun. There'll be people who who listen to this who think I really. Agree I agree with that. with that man. There, and I just think I agree with that. Man. Eating all of something is a very satisfying way to just so you organize your day. So you mm. Right, Yusuf, there you go. Like I bet you have a bit of the bag of granola, don't you? Oh uh, yeah, well, I'd, I'd what do you mean a bag of granola? Mate, you, you can't finish boxes of cereal. Why not? Because, because no one's made it yet. Because so that's mental. where the gap in the market is. Right, okay. What is the, is it? Your bag? This is the Nomo bag. These are incredible. I've had. I mean, it's looking a bit tatty now because I've had it for ten years, but they are designed with MacBooks in mind. So you can slip your little pink MacBook in there, and it's got a special pocket, as you can probably see. That's Lined with very MacBook friendly stuff. Um, this has been all around the world. <laughs> Just absolutely great for transporting your MacBook around. Um, because it... <laughs> what is funny? Oh, please, can we try and get, get on camera? What you won't have seen was just. <laughs> Oh, the condoms. <laughs> no, no, no. What? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, I've really done it there. What? <laughs> condoms so you, you, you just got what are a, the ma- a Mac. Why have you got condoms in the thing? You've just got to have oh. the essentials, but like, I, what, what were you originally laughing at? Like, oh. um, the croissants. Oh. It's in that bag, Mate, you have I'm a crying. MacBook, condoms, oh. and croissant. Yeah, <laughs> and stethoscope. <laughs> so your bag contains a pink MacBook. No, let's not make that sound on the mic. Oh uh, yeah, it's, it it's was noisy. as you explained oh. the the MacBook friendly compartment. Chris and I just exchanged a glance of like, I'm not sure, I'm not sure how. <laughs> we both gave each other a look. Dean will be able to make it happen. And we both just went. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, do you want to start? I ju- yeah. Well, I think, so what, what I was confused by was I feel like that's a very common backpack, back, backpack, backpack feature. That um, was why I looked at so, Chris. So now it is. Maybe back when in you, 10 years ago when, when the Nomo pioneered the... You, the, you said the holder. made with MacBook in mind. Mm-hmm. I think that's a that's a big claim. Made with MacBook in mind. That, that's, their, that's their shtick. Is it? Yeah. So, so is it a MacBook? And, and actually, one of, our, one of our clients, I was buying a new one, and I looked at the photo and I was like, oh, it's Freddie. And it was one of our clients who's a model, and he was um. modelling the bag. Which so was, man, it's a good looking bag, and you've had it for forever. But I just, I wish you just the, don't believe it's man. So, no, so yeah, and I, the other thing, the other thing as well is you are with a man who has gone for the absolute Ferrari of backpacks here. No. Oh yeah. yeah, the built for athletes one. Tool. Mm. <laughs> oh no, no. Tool is so. I used to have a tool. A tool but yeah. Now I have a built for athletes one. Oh God, you're very CrossFit, aren't I you? Know. Well, so the reason for that is, um, have you seen? 
what's happened to the price of tool laptops, laptop bags, yeah, gone up. Insane. Well, they're ne- they are unbelievable. So when I, when I bought mine, it was 60 quid. Mm-hmm. Now that same bag is over 200 quid. Wow. Yeah. And it broke, the one I had. The zip went You on. can tell. So what I like about tool is when you see someone walking through an airport with one on, you're like, it's just someone it who... sounds like you guys are trying to speak Arabic when you're saying... Tool. Tool. How how's do you it, say it? How's it spelled? T-H-U-L-E. Okay. How would you pronounce that? Suel. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Fuck, I can't believe that there was condoms in your bag and we weren't even I can't believe about that it was, it was MacBook condoms, croissant, and stethoscope. That's in what, that order. That's what you essentials. <laughs> <laughs> I also really like how your idea of a portable snack is pastry. <laughs> well, it was a double pack. Because <laughs> you'll often pull out like the plastic packet of a, like a pan of raisin. <laughs> and there'll be a pano raisin you've had one earlier having the yeah. second one because yeah. he doesn't finish all of the things right <laughs> see I, I would have eaten both of them immediately because it's just like well, immediately I've got, yeah. I've got the box well because it's, it's like it's like open a thousand loop. calories just yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've uh, I've collected some of these over a little while and some of them are, are real good but they've been fully integrated into my life that the novelty's worn off and that's, right. that's that's when you know that they're good because they've mm. stayed the course City Mapper mm. I think I know what that is but f- fucking hell so any big like, city... How do you survive without it? Man? Without like, city mapper, yeah. So um, it's essentially, it's kind of like Google Maps meets trainline.com meets the bus timetable. You put your location of where you are now and where you want to go in and it will give you all of the different options of how to get there. Do you want to hail a cab? Do you want to get a, a mobile bike, a lime scooter thing? Do you want to do a combination of walking and tube, walking in an overground train? Do you just want to walk the whole thing and you just choose? And then once you press go on your chosen route, especially if you're taking the tube, it's linked in with the tube timetable. So it tells you what time, what platform you need to go on. Oh, you need to go northbound. So turn right when you get to the thing and it downloads it offline so that when you're underground in the tube, it will know when you go and all you do is swipe right when you've got to the next thing. It even knows the timing based on when it thinks the tube would have arrived and comes up on your phone saying, you probably need to get off now. <laughs> like when it, when it thinks you're at the next stop, then you get off and you keep on So swiping. that's not GPS-based, that's time-based. It's, it's a, a very clever app. And like right. in, in, it's nice having seen it grow over the years. Like oh, have, you been be, an, have you been an old user? Yeah, of it? so it used to be relatively rudimentary and only have like one or two cities. And now it's just like... Includes yeah, U- Uber, cycling, bar- the Barclays bike things, uh, <clears throat> walking estimates, like all the different methods. And it just like tells you like, okay, that's the quickest. That's the cheapest. Here's how long the law takes. That's, this is how many calories it'll expend. Yeah. It even tells you how many calories you'll expend <clears throat> by doing each route. Man, it's it's unreal. City is it, map. Is, it, is there like a paid version? I'm just wondering like I think why. it's mm-hmm. ads. Right. I think it must be ads. Be an ad model. Freemium. Free me, um, right, Johnny? What you got? Here's me. Uh, this is a journaling thing for those people who do journaling, which I think is both of you know, and Video Guardian as well. And Dean VXD. So there's a a lot of journals do like daily wins, daily gratitude, all that sort of thing. Something that I recently was it was kind of suggested I try was journal one thing that went badly in the day. So journal like the worst thing that happened and then try and flip it. So like, why is that, why is it a good thing that that happened? And then what am I going to do about it tomorrow? And it's just constant evolution of, you take the take the, the worst part of your day and try and reframe it. Can you give us some examples of things that you've written? I mean, it's, it's so, it'll be all tiny propane, very specific things. Mm. But say you're person. right, like <clears throat> finishing that with, this is good because, and then forcing yeah. yourself to come up with a. Because there's always, you know, like you know the Jocko Willink video, good. you know the good, yeah. like reload. There's all there is always yeah. something good. But I think there's uh, had a training session um, where I was underslept and undereaten, perfectly fine. I learned how uh, I was able to get through a session under non perfect yeah. circumstances. Got to practice that. Yeah, yeah. So like any an argument that you had or something that went wrong, like injured my back. Like why is that good? Well. It's an opportunity to warm up properly in future or etc. So it's Got just injured. It's good. A good. Last year battalion. 
Brilliant. <laughs> Chuck, Fantastic. Mate, not everything's fucking great. Don't so shot. Ben Ben shared something with me that um, has ruined Jocko for me forever. Oh, we, wow. So you know how Jocko's Instagram is like just photos of it 4am, 4am, his watch. It takes them in batch right? and then shares it, well, No, it's them. not that. It's a video of him. And then the other thing is a photo of the sweat on the floor. Yeah. Aftermath. A single kettlebell. It was a it was a video of him doing chin ups and training in his garage, and you realise like it's just a guy in like his fifties training, uh, and it's just not the spectral form. It's of not at all impressive, and, uh, it, and it's like you're like, oh, is it bad pull up form? Like it's okay, but you imagine this like hulking mass, like square jaw <laughs> Navy Seal, like yeah. ripping it up, but actually it's like. <laughs> and it's just ruined. His ruined. mate is massive, though. What's his name? <coughs> Black guy, David yeah. Goggins. No, <laughs> it's not David Goggins. No, you mean David Goggins? Charlie no. it, was it it's like Charlie or something? Goggins. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know who you mean. Another one that you mean? Yeah, oh, he does the podcast with him. He's like, oh uh, right, David. Okay. David, David Goggins. Oh, <laughs> yeah, David, yeah. <laughs> so, right. okay, Useless, yeah. rapid fire round. These are the suggestions. Buy loose bananas instead of packs for less waste at various levels of ripeness. That's from Paul McGurran. Very clever. So you you buy a range of bananas ranging from the most ripe. And Mm. then like as the week goes on. So you never get caught out. You have a a conveyor belt. Very good. Uh, Page power lifts. We're not a fan of this one. (laughs) Sorry, Tom. Drive 10 miles per hour slower on the motorway. So that implies you are... Fuel economy. You're driving too fast. In which which case, like obviously... You, you might get a ticket as a risk with that. To be honest, I probably do need to do that because I, I think like it just takes out the rushing mindset. Like, well, I think you you tend to get in a lot of car crashes. Yeah, <laughs> you do I, like you love a good a good bump, don't I'd you? I love a good bump. So yeah, I need to maybe just slow down a bit. Nick Montez, hi, uh, Simon Robertson. Preload multiple bin bags in the bin so in case of a split bag, the mess is contained. It's not bad. Windscreen cover for your car in the winter costs ten pounds, saves thirty minutes, better ROI than a shoe. And he's followed up with horn. No car windscreen takes thirty minutes to clear. Yeah, takes. It's not thirty minutes of active effort as well. There's I always the, like, there's always the break glass in case of emergency of having lukewarm water, and I know it might crack your windscreen, but if you've got to get somewhere, you've got to get fast. somewhere. You? So, yeah. so, so you know, I actually I saw people it. opposite my house um, fill up a freeze, like run into the house, fill up a freezer bag with hot water run out and like use it to drape it across yeah so they like draped it and cleared wow. the windscreen if, so if, if you've got so a life hack <laughs> I, know that, <clears throat> I know that Yusuf is is deploying some that he's been sent here by people that follow the propane Instagram if you have any life hacks put them in the show notes below or, uh, sorry put them in the comments below on YouTube or just message them to me and I'll feature them next time if they're not shit mm. but if it's drive slower you're not getting on it. Come so, get well, one of these has to win, <coughs> win our ebook. So, the final two: Pete Collum, beard apron dash collects all the hair. Oh, I'm, I imagine nice. that's like a, a device that you wear around. Have you your seen it? Yeah. So like, it's like you wear this <coughs> necklace around the back of your neck, and it's a sheet of material that then goes and has suction cups that go onto the. Uh, I see. Uh, on mirror, mirror. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, so if someone comes in the bathroom and sees you, they're just like, "What are what you, you doing? doing? Is yeah. the final one good?" Monzo linked to if this then that automatically save money every day. I'd like to see how you implement that, Pete, because uh, that could be quite good. I think I know which Pete that is. Ramit Sethi is a big fan of um, automating your finances. I think if you, if you don't do that, you're a willy because bills don't need to be paid manually. Oh um, God! Direct, just direct debit everything. Oh. Mm. It's, it's like going back to a manual car now, like thinking, oh, well, I've got to, now I have to think about manually changing the transmission of my car as I change speed. Like, why is that ever a human requirement to do? There are some people, some coaches that I've worked with that have, that have billed me manually with an invoice. Yeah. Like, fuck. <sighs> just, see, I just set up a direct debit. Yeah. So I think my favourite out of them is the bananas. Banana ones. Yeah, yeah, bananas. Yeah, bananas, bananas made it. <coughs> By range of right bananas has made it onto the life hacks thing. All the other ones can't do that with apples. Can cool. you? I prefer it. an apple to a banana, personally. Having a really overripe apple is horrible as well. Is that when it's soft? When it's a bit wrinkly. wrinkly like, thank yeah. you. Um, <laughs> okay, so my next one is improve your email signature. So I had a terrible email signature. It was all that. Um, if this this message is for the intended recipient, 
if we scan our viruses, it's not a thing. <laughs> Think like, of the environment before you print yeah, it. Yeah, mate, who the fuck has... No one's... If someone gets infected with a virus because you've sent it to them, they're not going to go, oh, well, he had that disclaimer on the bottom that said, voodoo events do all they can to try and scan for viruses. Please be... It's mm-hmm. like when people put on YouTube, no copyright infringement intended. You're like, I don't think that... Oh, yeah, mate, because from- DCMS are going to really be worried about that. They're <laughs> not going to crack down on you because you've stolen a load of Michael Jackson music because of that. <laughs> So my email signature went through um, and just cut it down to the bare minimum, which also includes names. So I never have to say thanks, Chris, now, which I kind of was doing before because it was obviously clunky. That then create the email signature on Gmail. Hyperlink the text so you can select the text. So it says... Philly nightclubs at Voodoo Newcastle. Voodoo Newcastle links to our website, mm. a host of Modern Wisdom Podcast, Modern Wisdom links. Then you can copy and paste that across into notes, copy and paste that out of notes into your email signature section on iPhone, and it will retain the hyperlinks as well. Right. And all of the formatting. You've also got the quote below and you like, tis better to have loved and lost than never loved it reminds, at all. It, it, that was last week. It's live, laugh, love now. Live, laugh, love. Yeah. yeah. Good, good memory. I lo- it's it's like <laughs> it's my favourite type of. I, I know people don't frape anymore, but mm. putting a really inane quote that like is like pseudo inspirational that you'd imagine on like some someone's Instagram like <laughs> with like text and then like a Jordan a Peterson's Jordan Peterson's personal email address has the truth will set you free. I'm not kidding. Oh, really? Jordan. <laughs> Anyway, I, mine's just on my Apple Mail. Like when I select the email account I want to mail from, it brings up the signature. Johan Arthur Blobson. Exactly. Yeah. Esquire. Uh, yeah. The, I, I have heard that it's, uh, I can't remember who it was, was like, if you if you sell anything, put the URL sell it at in. Seven the thing. An hour. <laughs> it's sell it at seven twenty now. Put the URL in the signature. And then people like it's just free traffic. For it's, it's the most free traffic. The trouble with that is we email a lot of customers and I don't want customers back in the front end. That's the worst. That's my worst nightmare. All the work I've had to do to segment and split them off in the right place, yeah. and then I email them and, and they re-opt it. Tracking link. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh god. Right, Johnny. 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 Um, so this is a bit of a theme that I've been trying to do um, this year. So kind of like my New Year thing was to, um, which is influenced from a guy called Sam Ovens, who I know you're a massive fan of. Sam Ovens. Um, but just the idea of, so what, I, what I've always historically done is um, with any of my like self-improvement or habits or anything like that. And this is the, I think this is the best way to find life hacks is I've typically had like the weekends where I'll wake up late or do things a bit differently or like I'll modify my days a bit, but I've tried as much as possible to wake up at the same time every day. So like I'm like a minute out since like the 5th of January or whatever, go to bed same time every day, train the same days of the same week at the same time, eat at the same time. So you just create this like framework over your day. It is the same every time. So you start to feel hungry at the same time. You start to feel tired at the same time. And then my morning routine is exactly the same. And I've got it down to an hour. So I, I, mean, I know you were chatting about this last time. Like if you know, so I know that by 8 a.m. I'm done. Go downstairs, coffee, feed Dexter, Becca walks Dexter, go upstairs, cold shower, start work by this time. Everything everything in your life is so much easier because like you aren't what sam says is like you're not fighting hormones like you're not fighting like randomly feeling hungry at 10 a.m because you ate then yesterday not randomly feeling tired at 9 30 but when you've got that running so like part that the life hack is one rather than trying to do what i think most people do is they're like right now's the time i'm going to improve myself i'm going to pick this really complicated thing and try and stick to it pick like the most basic bit version and do it perfectly for like 14 days and then try and pick the little optimization points. What's an example of that? So the guy you interviewed, the efficiencies, everything guy spoke about like write out your morning routine, for example, and then look for little ways you can make it better. So rather than like, I'm going to wake up and stretch and journal and read and exercise and have a protein shake, like pick like three things or one thing that you know you're going to be able to do and prove it to yourself that for 14 days, I'm never going to miss then add one thing in. And when you just, when you have that, you can spot like, actually, like I could add this and that would make that a, li- a little bit better, a little bit quicker. Or, like I'll brush my teeth then. Actually, that's another one. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So to, to add to that then, the, the thing that this guy talked about, and he used the example of what well, Henry Ford's uh, first public speech about his manufacturing process. Mm. That was my example. Is it oh, not when he gets undressed? Yeah, okay. That's my example. Don't give it to him. Oh, God, okay. Motherfucker. <laughs> Sorry, Chris's example really of where he, rather than um, doing up his shirt from top to bottom and then putting his tie on, it was put the shirt buttons on from bottom to top and then his hands were already in the same spot to do the tie. <laughs> and although that sounds like a silly thing, when it's when it's Henry Ford and that's scaled yeah. over a manufacturing process <laughs> yeah. for a car, it's like every... You get the Ford Motor Company. Yeah. That's like, what you get. That's what you get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and so the idea of like batching your tasks so that you have your toothbrush and floss in the shower, you wake up, you turn the shower on, you go and boil the kettle, you come back, clothes off, in the shower, you wash your... It's shampoo and then you let, you know, you let the soap... That's it. So you wash your body from top to bottom mm. rather than like lather up the lower parts of your body and then try and work up and then you've got mm. more th- cleaning to do. I think that... The, I know I know it sounds so basic, like an alien didn't say it because like to say like just do the same thing every day sounds so... But it's, it's, it's actually very hard when you're self-employed as well and there's no yeah. limit on no, the time. No, it's no framework. So like um, I know my shower is 10 minutes long. There's a very specific reason why it's 10 minutes long because I'm progressively adding cold to the end of it. <laughs> but like I know pretty much within a five minute window when I'm starting work. And so then I know when I'll finish work mm. and it just, everything is, is so much easier. And there'll be people who are like, yeah, obviously mate. Mm. But like how many people lie in on the weekend because they think that that's improving their sleep when actually it almost certainly isn't. So just try that. I like one, I've, I've, I like that's it. really, really helped me. That's, that is great. And I, so I think that principle can apply to a lot of work as well, which is like, and, and this is where Gantt charts come in, where if you're not aware of what a Gantt chart is, is where you have multiple streams or um, strands of a, of a process all happening in parallel. And then you've got to see which ones are bottlenecked by other ones. So which one is required before you can do the next one, which ones need to be started and then left to run on their own and don't require further input, but you need to wait for them. And basically what can you look at within a large project that you can set all these dominoes off, go away and do something else rather than sit and wait for that domino Mm -hmm. to fall and then come back to it. You'll find you can compress quite a lot of tasks into it. So it's like going to a lift, people come in the lift you fart then, and then you get out of the lift. Like, it's, it's perfect, rather than farting well, at the beginning a, of you. A, perfect, a perfect way to put that. You do not need a Gantt chart to make this work. You can do it quite easily just off your own back. But a perfect example of that is if you're going to sit down and do a morning routine and you have a coffee as a part of your morning routine, make the coffee at the beginning and allow it to cool throughout. Yeah, yeah. And it means that the cooling is a, is a process which has to occur. You might as well allow yourself to do other things whilst... A, Bet when you have coffee, you probably make your coffee before the shower. So <clears throat> the, the most frustrating part of my morning routine at the moment is between waking up and like starting my... So the first thing I do is I'll read because mm-hmm. it's, it's like the lowest kind of effort thing to do. But I'm just so like, even though I'm getting like seven and a half hours of sleep, seven and a half hours of sleep, I'll wake up and I'm a bit Grogy. slow. So, but, but this is the thing that's kind of what I mean. Like what I'm looking for now is what can I do to kind of lemon and jolt salt, me away? Lemon and salt so that's what I'm going to add. In Man. ten minutes. So this shower. is this is why I bought a fifty quid trampoline. I'm so ready for Stop this. the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Stop the podcast. I, I think I think that deserves just reversing the order of the <laughs> Yeah, thank you. <laughs> just put that at the beginning. What? So you know a rebound a trampoline. Do you know what I mean? Like a small trampoline. I know what a small trampoline is. So a small trampoline. So imagine a small trampoline. I am that. Bought one of those. The reason yeah. is um I know that when I, so like you, you mentioned you go for a walk first thing, right? Don't really want to do that. Cause I do that anyway with Dexter about an hour or so later. Don't really want to train. Cause I, I typically feel like overall worse thought about doing like, I, I could do burpees or like I, if I move, it might like get my blood flowing, but like realistically who is going to wake up and do burpees? No one. Mm-hmm. So get on a trampoline bounce. You get off a trampoline. Firstly, it's way harder than you think, like way harder than you think. Secondly, there's not really any physical impact at all other than... <laughs> so <laughs> feel like that. just to recap, you've yeah. bought a trampoline. Yes. Like like a 
It's, if you imagine a big trampoline. It's a little one. Smaller one. Yes. And you're going to... That's going to be your thing. I am doing that. Bouncing. I've been, yeah. Okay. Bounce. So the Biohackers Handbook mm. suggests that... Don't say not bouncing on a trampoline. Uh, it doesn't bring up that specific... Surprisingly, it doesn't actually have any tips about that. What it does say is going upside down. Right. So inversion. Oh, fuck's sake. So that might be worth trying. You could alternate. You could do trampoline one day. To be honest, I'd be well up for that. So like, hands that so grab your boots. Uh, no, 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 no. So it's you need to be upside down with hands on ground. So you'd kick up onto a wall like you would have used to have done in CrossFit. I struggle, Chris, to get into a handstand. Like the chances of me getting into a handstand at ten to seven. Well, this is how you'll. This is how you'll get your domain of competence up, so you can do it. But um, so, I think you're very physically capable of it. But yeah, and it's yeah, not. It's, it's not just, to do a press. It's just to go into a handstand like a, and that just gets the blood down to your head. That's precisely what it's doing. Yeah. Um, and hyperextension yeah. a little bit yeah I did it when I was 13 good knowledge um, yeah it's because first thing in the morning your adenosine receptors aren't active that's why you don't need caffeine within the first 90 minutes so your adrenal system is what's uh, mm. active that and what's the stress hormone cortisol cortisol because uh, that's what wakes you up in the morning right mm. um, so adrenal system gets activated salt lemon water and going upside down my god I'm going to do it. I, I mean, that's your sort of dream. You're upside down just for fun. Yeah, that's true. I, I just love being upside down. So I'm going to start doing that. Do you I'll, prefer I'll do... being upside down to being the right way up? It's it's really meditative. And a lot of a lot of really advanced handstanders, like, become very, like, they, they all describe it as a very meditative experience. And I think it's because, like, you know, the Zen things of, like, balancing stones or mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. just that, like, you, you're you totally focused on maintaining your line. Mm-hmm. And it's it does just, like... So it feels like it's, it, it would be beneficial. It just, it's just more shoulder load, isn't it? More like stability. There's a lot of Lovely. you going through your arms as well. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. Holding 100 kilos. 100, 100 kilo head. Over, yeah. overhead press. Hold overhead. overhead. Um, so I've put yours down as eat, sleep, and train at the same time. Add habits in. Uh, Progress, yeah. So like once you've got that, like once you're running and, and kind of doing that consistently, then looking for like, how can I improve this? That's what your habits are. So it's like so minimum viable product on. Yeah. On it's like, so before you're like, how can I make my three hour morning routine? Think like, well, why don't I wake up at the same time <clears> every day for five days and then start to slowly add things in. So just adding onto that, I didn't know that there's a, a, a rationale behind it, but I've always found first coffee of the day decaf. So the coffee I have in the morning, like while I'm doing my morning routines, decaf, I don't have a caffeine till <clears throat> eight or nine. I just feel better that way. What time are you waking up? 10, 6.50. Okay. It's between 6.49 and 6.51. <laughs> <laughs> I love that there's a window that's that tight. Yeah. But still a window. Well, you know, I'm, I'm only human, Chris. Yeah. Yusuf. <laughs> Speaking of making these little optimizations, and, you know, you do it in like a social situation where you you might have met people that when they introduce themselves and they say their name and they kind of mumble it or they say it in a weird way or like they've got a name like, Iona, and they go, when is Iona, or something, and they're like, what? <laughs> like, and so something I'd like both of your advice on <clears throat> is when you're doing a rectal exam on someone, you'll, the typical thing that people say is, can you bear down on my finger? And most people are like, they don't understand. But then if you say, squeeze my finger, sometimes they'll, they'll try and reach around and try and squeeze your finger. <laughs> so Mike has res- resorted to saying, Imagine you're mid poo and you have to quickly nip it off and but but I think saying starting a sentence with imagine it's too involved so, too the, abstract. so just to get while you were describing that <coughs> firstly I tried to bear down with my bum I was like what would mm. I do and I squeezed my glutes but some people think that's flex some th- think it's relaxed like yeah because Sienna Day <laughs> would say push your ass all out but that's as if you're going to have a have a poo isn't it and the only the other one that I've heard one person use terrible is imagine you're trying to suck a straw through your bum. I think that's brilliant. There's a lot of glute activation going on while I try and so, do that. So, but so one it, the, the first one of like bear down. I think I think hip thrust. Ah, right? uh, okay. Whereas when you say the nip off the poo, I'm like, yeah, I know exactly what he means. Mm-hmm. I know exactly. I what see. Because squeeze my finger. Remember, like you. This is people who like if you say squeeze my finger and they're not might be a bit confused, might be a bit delirious. They were, you've got to give them the most. They're also laid on their side on a medical examination bed with their pants around their knees. With a finger at the bum. So, so you can't be too... What's your solution? 
And what's the question? Because you initially said I think nip- someone called Iona, and now we're talking Yeah, why about, is this remembering you? I think trying to nip off my finger is What did Iona have to do? <clears throat> or if you've got, like, I don't know, what what's a, a name that doesn't work well with my name is or I am? What's that I got am, to do I with am. the rectal exam? Because it's... That that's one of the optimizations. That's like something that you do a lot. Well, something I do a lot. Oh, I see. Um, like improving a sentence. Improving yeah. Everything oh, you say all the time. And then uh, that optimizes it over time. <clears throat> so looking at the things that you do and... Maybe work. just like try and stop pooing. <laughs> I'm not pooing. I'm not pooing. I'm not pooing. Pooing. <laughs> but but it, 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 I, I think Mike's got it. Yeah. Got it. Mike, if Mike all those it. things... Try and nip off the poo. I think just imagine you trying to imagine you were trying to stop yourself from pooing. What would you do? Like, that's that's you, kind of it. why do they want to do? Why do you want to do that to see if they can hold the doorbell in rings? Time? Yeah, but then but sometimes you get people that you like. Have you got any pain? Oh, I've got some pain in my chest. You like oh. like you're just saying that, and what that means now is I'm gonna to have to do a series of blood tests. Or like, put my or like in your can you feel your bum hole? And you're like, oh, not really. And you're like, you realize the impact of you saying that. <laughs> this like this <laughs> decision. Can you a... definitely feel? It's like right. I will. Ha-. And then sometimes they're like, oh no, actually I can. But then, yeah, anyway. Um, if they knew the consequences of saying, I'm not sure if I can feel my bum hole, a lot more people would say, I can feel my bum hole. Exactly. Because there are people that, and I, maybe it's just like someone asks them, do you have this? And then they're like, oh, maybe That's like I do. signing up to one of the very, very long email trigger sequences on propanefitness.com, isn't it? If you yeah. press the wrong button, you are that's it. 30 well, just, days want, of yeah. one email if you a want, day. If you opt in, that's it. Like obviously, you can unsubscribe because of GDPR, of course. Yeah, but right. if you don't unsubscribe, I have a totally neutral feeling towards someone needing a rectal exam on me. Neutral feeling. That's well, good. Like you, I, I think just because I, I like to think I would only get myself in that position if it was, if needed. It was needed. Yeah. I can't imagine it being this, like, someone saying to me, going, oh, no, God, yeah. what more is it do? Because, <laughs> like, well, I, that needs to happen. Well, the, 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 the I guess it's the good thing. Maybe not. This comes back to, like, la- is it Life Hacks 101 or something where we were saying... <laughs> Would it improve or reduce your enjoyment if the other party was enjoyed getting it? pleasure from yeah, it? But, yeah, but because most of the time, like the the person doing it also isn't that's kind isn't of having a great time either. They're just <laughs> so, like, on Peep Show. They ask each other. One of them's like, "Could you could you have sex with me if you ha- if you had to?" <laughs> and he was like, "Yeah, as long as I think you weren't enjoying it, I could do it." <laughs> and he was like, "You could have sex with me if you were raping me, but you couldn't have sex with me if I was enjoying it." <laughs> <laughs> It's terrible. It's a, such a perfect <laughs> illustration of like, why is it that our minds yeah. work in that way? Um, right, Yusuf. <clears throat> book, book. I have, Johnny mentioned... That's the, a new book, book. Yeah, so so Johnny mentioned the mouse. You got rid time. of your mouse? I didn't like it. Can we, because there's people listening that don't know what's happening here. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I'm just saying words for the audio people. So mouse is a iPhone case that... Is brilliant. It's very protective. The, their marketing is about throwing it off buildings and all that kind of stuff. And it's a single case. You can't we've, store... We've already gone through it. <clears throat> we've gone through it. Well, yeah, because Johnny talked up about it. Do you think I was going through it for a bit? So, oh no. So th- this is the... It's called a Toro, similar to Book Book, just a, basically a leather case. It's because I tried to just, Final Frontier, only carry my phone around, never do cash. And I got caught out at the... Barbers, it's having a haircut. The guy was even telling me about, oh, there's a scumbag who just did a runner and uh, he, he said he was going to go to the cash machine and he just left and he, he didn't pay. He absolutely... And I'm like, oh, terrible. Like, I would never do that. And then at the end, he was like, right, £10. And I was like, do you take card? No, I haven't got it. I haven't even got card with me. I've just got my mouse and my phone. So I can't withdraw cash and I can't, I don't have any cash. And then I forgot to return the cash to so I had to get so you were to, the person preemptively was, that he was talking I was, about we, we so just got my girlfriend to go and pay later. magnetic thing is you know the the wallet the, that Chris thing. wouldn't let me yeah. forget about but yeah, I understand luckily Book Book does a bunch of things protects your phone if you drop it can you describe what it is for the people that are listening please? just a leather book shaped case but it's front and back right it's, it's not a case it's, yeah. a, it's actually a, a screen cover as well it is a sc- leather, it, it is I've, I've had people take the piss out of me at work for being a dad because I, I it is a, a bit dad I make a lot of dad jokes and I've got a very dad the last case. one was very very Muslim the, the last one looked very like Muslim. a little a little miniature sort of religious script oh yeah it, it was like yeah, a, very much um, the, the other great thing is if you do a lot of videos or if you I guess if you sit on trains and watch um, Netflix or something stand it up as a little stand. look at that you don't even oh. you just use the AirPods case Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, 
<laughs> or your water bottle. If, if you want to pay £250 for two tampons <laughs> that you put in your ears, then... S- speaking of which, I've lost my AirPod Pro case. Oh, crazy. You've lost the case, but not the... Buds. buds it's only like ears. 450 quid for a new one. £80. Not bad. Could be worse. Mm. I was expecting worse. Could be worse. How much are the pods themselves? I don't know. £70. Because I don't know. Is it cheaper to just buy a left? You can't. It's not the way they don't the case. Right. Uh, let's do. I'll do one more, and then we'll do a quick fire round. Um, Goodness me. So, okay. Right. This one. This one's a real a real hack. So I flew uh, Emirates a fair bit this winter, and on both the flight to and the flight back from Dubai to Bali. Uh, one of my friends was on, who's a girl, who's one of the uh, air hostesses, and she gave me a hack of how to get unlimited free internet on Emirates. Is it to know one of the air hostesses? <laughs> and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it... <laughs> and maybe have had sex with them. Definitely <laughs> hadn't had sex with her. Um, At so that point. When you, <laughs> that day. When, you go on, when you go on Emirates, it'll come up and it'll say, um, how do you want, like on air, it's called Emirates on air. And um, you get to choose, do you want unlimited instant messaging or 20 megabytes of data? 20 megabytes of data is like a trial thing. And then after that, you've got to pay for however much you have after that. Mm. Um, Choose the 20 megabytes of data thing. So you don't want to be restricted to just the messaging. Mm -hmm. 20 megabytes of data. And once you've used it, go back into your settings, go to the Wi-Fi network that you're on, press in on air, the little I, then as you see it, there'll be a bunch of things like a renew lease and a DCID and other stuff, client ID. That's just three numbers. Change those to th- any other three numbers and it will reset and you can just mm. use 20 megabytes again and just keep going. That is unlimited free internet on ever, every Emirates flight for the rest of time. Have we right talked now. about that on when I had that on Emirates? Yes, and uh, you went over somewhere that got you data, and then you were going to be charged seven hundred pounds. Three thousand seven hundred pounds. <laughs> Three thousand. <laughs> you fell. Didn't you fall asleep? I, I fell asleep. I remember your message. You me didn't turn like, roaming off. And wanted to complain at O two. Yeah, I just didn't. I just didn't put my phone on airplane mode. Like went to sleep. Forty minutes into the flight, opened my phone, text, "Welcome to on air." Ukraine. Yeah, and it was like you were being charged I, I pay, eight pounds a megabyte. I pay a thousand quid for a footage of that moment. <laughs> oh, I think uh, I just uh, sat missing. Like a three, or five, three to five <laughs> of you realizing to come to come instantly phone off and to then going. I just sat mincing for the rest of the like twelve hour flight. Just sat just like right. Quick fire round. Final. Sell my car. Oh, final few. Uh, okay, is it me? Yes. Eat lean cheese. Protein hamper. <laughs> Elaborate. So, this is very again. So, Yusuf adds grated cheese to things to add add calories. Eat lean. I they make it a standard cheese you can buy it in Tesco and stuff like that. It's very low calorie, like defatted cheese. It's very hard, quite flavorless. On the Eat Lean website, they do loads. They do like a red Leicester. They do a smoked one. They do like loads of different cheeses, and they do a hamper that just gives you all of it to try. Like spreads, dips, everything. All right. They got a parmesan style one. Yeah, so I imagine it parmesan. lends itself quite well to parmesan. So it's, it's close to parmesan, right? Mm. Um, but it's like when I ordered it, anyway, it was thirty quid, including delivery. Okay. I've just got loads of cheese. Okay, it's like I've a got protein. a text from Johnny. I just spent thirty pounds on cheese. <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> it's a protein supplement essentially. Okay, macros. and low fat, very low fat. Oh wow, incredible! That's great. Yeah, so nice. like, like per hundred grams. Do you, want me to, do you want me to tell you what the macros are? No. Do you care? No. I'm already on my way, Chris. Okay. Is that mean? I, I do care. Yes. Is him. Is him. Is, is him. Is, is he clean? So 100 grams, and it's incredible, <clears throat> to be honest. 100 grams has 36 grams of protein, 3 grams of fat, and 2 grams of carbs. What's is in the it? rest of it? Yeah. Just protein. <laughs> That's the first question. What does that mean? 173 like... calories, 36 grams of protein. I just want to know what what's the matter made up of. Like, it's... I mean, when you eat it, you can tell, like, there's there's not much fat Stuff. in it. Like, mm. it's not... You don't eat it and think, that's Creamy. delicious. Yeah. Like, you eat it and think, <laughs> that's enough, satiating. close enough to cheese. But you reset your own set point to that. Like, if you've been drinking red milk for ages and then you try blue milk, you're same like, as whoa, a, this same is Same as creamy. my uh, beef isolate protein thing. It just becomes normal. Yep. As opposed to the column that you're having to... Oh. So, like, for the... Cal- to get the same calories from not even, like, low-calorie cheese, you're just adding so much bollocks to your calorie but you said you couldn't get 
this particular cheese in the store. You can get their standard one in the shop. So can I get, if I find a particular type of cheese in that hamper that I like... You can get it from the website, not from the not from the shop. Yeah. But can I get, like, yes. can I double down on the Red Leicester? Yeah, absolutely. Right. Okay. Oh, absolutely. You get yeah. it. Lovely. Right, Seth. Hourglass. No hourglass. No. <laughs> no, Johnny. Fair glass. Hourglass. Hour <laughs> so we've we've been using various Pomodoro timer apps recently. And actually, if the task that you're doing in a Pomodoro is not digital, or you just don't want a digital distraction, having an analog timer is brilliant. Absolutely Yusuf brilliant. bought me and Johnny for Christmas a one hour Beautiful brass and glass. Mm. Hourglass. Good uh, name for a brand. Brass and glass, and glass mm. yeah, it would be. be what like would, it be? would it be? Would it be for be prostitutes trend- to shit on tables in front of you? <laughs> <laughs> brass and glass. It sounds like a trendy barber shop or somewhere yeah, that's like... Yeah. They also do tattoos. It'd be like a bar where there's bare knuckle <laughs> fighting, but it's all like hipster kind of... Yeah, it feels like a gentleman. It, I, I imagine like a, a dark bar where they do cocktails that have steam coming out of them. Mm. Anyone who's out there that needs a name for a brand. If anyone steals that idea, we will Brass cease and desist you faster than you know what's happening. So. Um, yeah, the, the um, hourglass, analog hourglass was lovely. Um, Yusuf, how did you spend your New Year's Eve? I, I didn't have any kind of invites or any, anything fun well, to no, go That's through, interesting, so, actually, because yeah. I, I didn't have any invites to anything either on oh, New Year's Eve. Chris, Johnny, what did, so you, what did you do on your New Year's Eve? I went to Wyland Brewery. What did you do before that? I had the people that were going to Wyland Brewery at my house. That sounds really nice. Do you think... <laughs> I mean, how nice <laughs> does that sound? <laughs> like, like, like it's a, it's it's a it's time Almost with... like a party. So, well, I mean, not really. <laughs> was I, it Because I was... spoke to Dab Gibson in the gym earlier on. I said, what are you doing tonight? He said, I'm going to Johnny's for a party. He's having a party at his house. So that's not... Then I text you and yeah. I said... Hi, mate. What are you doing tonight? And you said, going to Wyland Brewery. Because that's what I did. <laughs> and you came round to my house. On New Year's Eve? Just before. Oh, and I yeah. said, what are you doing on New Year's Eve? You're going to Johnny's party. And you went... What is that? What party? What is... What is it? So I can see why you're both upset. But it's not how. I feel like you've been given a slither of information... From I know that you went to Wyland Audio Brewery, Gibson. but I just feel... I mean, so wouldn't we, it have been nice if we'd... Even just early... Before? <laughs> even just an invite? So even like, just, come, just come around for, for 60 minutes and then go, see you later. You'd, have, have, you'd have, set, have liked that. Could have set the, set the brass glass. And glass timer. <laughs> Is that what, what it was and related to? It was like, oh, I'll come around, twist Johnny's hourglass, <laughs> and then leave when it expires. I would have just liked to have been involved. I mean, what did you, what did you do? What, not that. But what did you do? I ended up going to work. Why didn't you invite me? To work? Yeah. I knew you were at Wyland Brewery. I could have gone to your house before <laughs> Wyland Brewery. Or I could have gone to work and do your work instead of Wyland Brewery. You couldn't, you had tickets. I did have tickets. Anyway. We, that was nice, wasn't it? We've been planning that, that nice? for a little while. In case you didn't know, we've been planning that for a little while. It felt planned. It felt quite quite nasty in a bit. <laughs> it was. Bit okay. Sharp. So, our, yeah, our, our glass. Where did you get that hourglass from? Uh, Amazon. The Guilt. Shop. From the guild yeah. shop. <laughs> well, <laughs> org. So <clears throat> what's really, really sad, and I felt guilty about this, was my girlfriend for Christmas, after I'd ordered three hourglasses, um, <laughs> but they were still it's coming in the post. Brilliant, this <clears throat> I know <laughs> they were still coming in the post. And one of the presents I unwrapped it, I was like, I think I know what this is. And it was a, an hourglass, but it wasn't as nice as the brass and glass special one. And she was like, I've been looking for bloody ages to find a 20 minute timer so you can do a Pomodoro in it. And I, and I found one eventually after hours of looking. Look, it's 20 minutes so you can do it. And I'm like, that was so nice of you. A Pomodoro's 25 <laughs> minutes. And also I've got a really nice one coming. Yeah. Oh, if I, I prefer have you hour. heard of Be Focused Pro? Yeah. <laughs> I think an hour is a better amount of time than 25 minutes. Just two Pomodoros. Mm. Yeah. Because mm. 25 minutes, I, I always feel like I've been well. caught off in my flow. There's a little bit mm. of that. Uh, okay, my final one. Um, do the washing up to the pots and pans and utensils immediately after cooking. Mm. Otherwise it gets yeah, yeah. hard. Well, it's still wet. It's just so easy. It is mm. 30 seconds now or two minutes tomorrow. 
Yeah. That's it. And you, you're waiting for the food to cool or your scales or whatever, like you've put it away. Mm-hmm. Like just clear it up. Clear it, two, like 30 seconds, whiz round, job done. And it is... Agree. It is a game changer. Agree. So that's it for today. Thank you for tuning in. We have... Oh, what the hell? Johnny had his quick fire. We've, oh, Hang on, no, you oh, do your cheese. Fire. You I've do your cheese. Do you, do you want to do another one? So, I'm, I'm, bonus round. I've got some quick fires. No, so wait, no, we're the, saving them. Life hacks 112. 112. 100. You fucking ran out of them the other day and look at you now <laughs> spraying them all over. Sonic hair toothbrush. I said it. Uh, right. Okay, okay tell us about it. it. Mm, yeah. Yeah. So, Becca was waiting for the Boxing Day sale for quite a long time to get us both these Philips Sonic hair toothbrushes. Yeah. So, have you ever got one or had one? I think I've got one, yes. Right, okay. So, what I like about it is... He thinks he's got one. <laughs> I I've have got a, Philips. I know I have a toothbrush. I've got, a, I've got an electronic <laughs> Philips one that was quite expensive. So, yeah, so about 70 quid. It was 70 quid in the sale. You Maybe, probably, yeah, might, might even be a bit, a bit more. more. Yeah. So, the great thing about it is you press a button and then it goes for two minutes and it has a quadrant timer. Yeah. So, you do, like, the bottom quarter and then it goes... <clears> yeah. And then you go to the top quarter... Yeah. And the case that you carry it in has a USB charger on the bottom of it. It's just brilliant. I, I feel none of really this, enthusiastic about brushing my None of this is game changing, but I'm aware. Is this your first venture into the electric toothbrush world? So I had a, a, like a cheap shit electric. I think if you haven't had got, got one or ever used one, mm. it's a game changer. Big yeah. step up. So mine, I was the same. I'd gone, I'd gone from complete just. Manual. Like manual, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like using a manual car and then realising, mm. I don't need to do it. What the fuck is I doing? Mm. Um, yeah, that's, that's cool. I'm all right with that. I'm still waiting to invest in a water flosser. I haven't got one have yet. You got, have you got one? I've got one, but I'm, I'm, I'm wavering about I've it. I've been using... So since it's I nice. Keep, the dentist keeps telling like me to floss and I, I'm using the, like, the sticks and the little... The, I'm trying the, the, the bristle ones. brush things. The, they make me bleed. Yeah, they're, they're very... Why harsh. are you not using your... I am, but it's... Water flosser. I, so you have got one. Yeah, it, it does make you feel more fresh, but I still feel like getting in between mm. the teeth. Still, I, I'd love to know what a dentist's opinion on that David is. Breton, David Breton, David will be listening. Mm. David Breton will be listening because he's just had a kid and he's got nothing to do except for just clean poo. So David Breton, please let us know. Not poo on teeth. The internet, <laughs> the internet is, is waiting, right. David. Anyway, <laughs> uh, gents, thank you very much. Pleasure. We've got we've got some left over. Life Facts 112. It's been like four months since we did the last one, so it won't be as long for the next one, I promise. Don't forget to get a case of Bear Bells. All you need to do, share the episode, tag me online, and I'll choose someone to do it. PropaneFitness.com will be linked in the show notes below, along with everything else that we've gone through. Like, share, and subscribe. You know what to do. Also, if you follow the links down there, it will be supporting the podcast. And if anyone wants to come to my New Year's party next year. Except um, us. Except these two. Yeah. More than welcome. That's not... I'm not being serious. Okay. (laughs) Goodbye then. Yeah, yeah.